Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. And uh, today I'm going to be trying to test uh, the live link VCAM app that had just been released by uh, Epic Games. And I have an older iPad that my 2015 model, it doesn't, it does not have uh, depth sensing. So uh, I wanted to test and see if it will actually work. So what I'm look doing right now, I'm looking at uh, my uh, iPhone <laughs> 10 right now and I have the live link face app running on the iPhone but I also have my iPad running the new live link vcam app that has just been released and let me see if I can actually bring it up from here so this is uh, the live link vcam for Unreal Engine and that's what we're going to be testing today to record from the iPad so they have an iPad version which looks like that and then an iPhone version. So I have it installed on my iPhone 10, but I, I'm also, I have it installed on my iPad as well. So that's what we're gonna test today. So thank you so much again for joining me today, guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let me see if I can bring it up over here and uh, let me resize this just a tiny bit so if you're new to my channel uh, i kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that sub subscription button right here let's see can you see me yes hit the subscription button right here and uh, hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you're alerted when i post a new video and consider becoming a patron i truly truly appreciate the, all the patrons that are supporting me out there thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and also you can uh, go to the store and buy some merch if you want so that would be so cool uh, thank you again for your support guys so today like i said we're going to be trying this out and as you can see here i have it installed i have the the i the live link vcam installed on my ipad this is uh, someone's ipad too and then i have the live link face app running on my iphone right now that's what you're looking at right now so i'm going to the test i'm doing today is to see if both of them can work together right so let me go ahead and bring up my panel right here the outliner and i'm using the unreal engine 5 so if you see the, the character taking a pause is because I'm moving things around for a second. All right, so let me scroll all the way down and select my virtual camera and then go to the details panel, select VCAM and make sure virtual camera is enabled here and also under output providers to make sure it's active, right? And I'm also overriding the resolution to 2300 by 1080 just so it fills up this screen right here and then make sure it's visible so those are the things that really i need to do to make sure that it's, it's gonna show up in the interface now uh, right now as you can tell the it's not activated but that's because i haven't connected uh, the ipad so let me go ahead and connect the ipad real quick Okay, so something strange is happening, but that's because if you look over here, you can actually see it working down there. So let me move some of these things out of the way. And we're gonna switch this from perspective over here to the virtual actor. Okay, so there goes guys. <laughs> that, was it. that was actually easy. So. The test I wanted to do was to see if I could actually record myself. So, you know, this is for my fellow indie, you know, film directors out there and those who are using the Unreal Engine. Uh, the idea is that can you record your own, be your own cameraman, right? While you're performing. And clearly it can happen. So you can see the iPad. I'm using the iPad right here. And I'm right. So for, I'm coming from a, a cinematography and photography background. You don't want to go too crazy. <laughs> they teach you those things in a you know, photography class. I uh, try to be as steady as possible. So I'm on the screen here. And let me see if I can bring up some of these items. 
uh, let's go to I can do autofocus okay and then I can tap on autofocus now so my test so the <laughs> so this is what I've been encountering is that uh, every now and then it seems to just stop and just not want to work for some reason uh, and then I have to go to the have to go back here and then make sure I select my VCAM, then bring back the details panel. For some reason, some it's uh, I think it still needs some, it has some work uh, to be done. It's not very stable just yet. So here's a quick tip. Make sure you don't disable this. You have to first disconnect up on the screen, on the tablet, and then do that and then put it back again and then connect on the tablet and then come back. <laughs> I've learned the hard way because that caused a major crash in the Unreal Engine 5, okay? So as you can see, I can, I am talking right here and let me put it on the table right now, here. Sorry about that. So, uh, and it's it keeps doing that every now and then but we'll go ahead and switch back to the VCAM over here so you can see it moving. Now, let's switch to maybe a 30. I'm going to go to, hey, let me move the things out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's switch to about uh, maybe 85 millimeter lens over there. And then, so I'm also having trouble with the autofocus in the Unreal Engine 5. So let's bring up the autofocus, uh, tap on the autofocus right there. So it's able to focus on the background, but for some reason, and this could be because, uh, I mean, I could be doing something wrong, but it doesn't seem to want to track the character. However, there's manual, focus and you can also do so what you see right here there's manual focus so let's uh, first go back to focus over here is manual focus and I can drag and ever so slightly and you can see it focusing a little bit there so it works it's like small small increments and you can see them there. But so if you get to a point where you, I'm trying to, <laughs> it's not easy. All right, let me try the iPad. So you can, I almost got it right. So not quite, as you can tell guys, there's, there's still some issues with the, the autofocus and actually, when I was bringing it up, I saw uh, an alert saying that uh, there's, uh, uh, there was a missing focus modifier for, for that. And I'm going to see if I can get to focus while we're in 85 millimeters. Oh, it has to be so gentle. It's like right there, but not quite. All right. Let's adjust the f-stop and see if we can. Okay, so now we're getting rid of all the depth of field, you know, but you can actually see me talking right there. So I can be my own cameraman and I can record this while I'm, you know, acting out. <laughs> you could playing multiple, you know, hats as a, like the photographer, cinematographer, a DOP, but also the actor. So guys, I think it is possible to be able to do the uh, the apps at the same time. You can do the live link face up, just like you see me talking over there. And then you can also run the tablet at the same time. But now I think, what I think is that you need a really good Wi-Fi connection <laughs> because it's streaming from the phone, right? But it's also streaming from the tablet, okay? So, and then the autofocus is uh, it's having some issues, clearly. 
But uh, overall, I think that was a, a quick test that I wanted to show you guys. So you get a sense of what how it works. And it's a bummer because I really wanted to do like a really nice shallow depth of field. And we can adjust the, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, so it should be up focusing on the character right in front of, of the focus point, right? Because even if I tap on the character, there's still issues with that. So that's something that uh, just need to be aware of, guys. And if I go back to manual focus, I can try to get it close enough. I see it, but then I lose it. So like, right. <laughs> I almost got it. <laughs> I almost got it guys, but so right now you're just going to have to see me a little bit blurry, but uh, overall it's working. So I think to get, I mean, the shallow depth of field is awesome, but because it's still a little finicky, uh, we can just go ahead and get rid of it. And just uh, suggest that. And let me see if I can actually go to 200 millimeters. Uh, so maybe a hundred millimeters. Yeah, like around there. All right, so that looks fine for now. I still feel like I need to be able to uh, focus, like rack focus and all that. But uh, overall, this is a quick test that I wanted to show you that you can be your own cameraman, right? And still be able to use the live link face up on the iPhone, which I'm looking at right now, like that. And I think if I were to mount this on the shoulder with a, like one of those helpers, you'll be able to get a, a much more stable. So if you have like a, a trolley, I want sort of a trolley, but a dolly that you can mount your iPad to, that would work really good. So here you can see me sideways. And then, so I tried to move back in my chair, but because I don't have an iPad that has a depth of field, I actually lost track of the face for a second there. So, sorry for making you a little seasick with the <laughs> motion sick, but I wanted to show you that you can do the rotation with just uh, the 2015 iPad version. You can do this, but if you have a newer, like maybe like 2020, I think even a 2018, as long as it has a depth sensing camera, you'll be able to do like depth, be able to move in and out of the camera. Right now I'm moving the tablet, but it's only using up and down, but it's not going uh, to the, the C depth, for example, uh, overall. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was insightful. Um, I do think that uh, there's still work to be done on this, uh, the live link VCAM that has just been released. And actually, I think in, uh, I, I tested this a while back on, uh, this wasn't the live link VCAM, but rather the, 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 I think it was remote two, Unreal remote two, and that one had the autofocus. And, but this one is kind of struggling a little bit. So anyways. Uh, but overall, I think it's uh, it's working. As you can see, I can rotate. I lost my face. <laughs> Where'd I go? All right, here. I wanted to rotate so you can see me a little bit sideways and that way. And then you are able to record this. All right. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all my supporters out there. Thank you for the uh, for subscribing. Thank you for helping me to get to 10,000 subscribers. Do please help me get to 100,000 100, subscribers. And uh, these are awesome tools, guys, to have as indie filmmakers. It's awesome that we have the Unreal Engine to be able to use to tell our stories. So I can turn my head, but you can also use the tablet to turn like that. Okay, so let's stop the recording. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me today.
and I hope that was uh, insightful. <laughs> it's a little bit, a little quick insight to see if you can also try it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have got, if you are able to get the uh, autofocus to work, please let me know if you figured out a way. But uh, overall, this is pretty cool. Uh, it has a lot of potential. All right, see you next time, guys, with another insight. Solomon Jagwe, much love to everyone. Peace out. Please dare to dream big. Do not give up on your dream as always. Stay safe. Bye for now.